Okay, everybody, it has been quite a day today. I do one video and then something else popped up. I started off this morning saying I wanted to do four, but then it turned into five and then it turned into seven. And I have found another story, but this one is not it. I'll be coming at you later with that one. On this story, guys, I'm wondering what's going on because Don Lemon, TV host of CNN, was fired from his job and he says he was stunned. Well, I'm stunned also because that was announced today, announced today, and so was Tucker Carlson being split from Fox News was announced today. I'm not sure what's going on in the world of news, but it doesn't seem to be really good, guys. Don Lemon made the statement, I am stunned when he got the news that he was fired by CNN, but they are disputing his details. Hmm, makes you want to think who might be being honest and who's not. But Don says that he's been fired from his post at CNN. He co-anchored with Caitlin Collins and Poppy Hollow. And he's been there for about, hmm, roughly less than a year. So I know that there were some issues back a while back when he made a comment that everybody was going crazy saying that they felt like that it was feminist. And I really didn't like the comment either. But it didn't mean that much to me because I can't even remember what it was now. Maybe it'll, I'll, I'll, I can find it and bring it back to you guys, but this wasn't important to me. That he was on the air Monday and he shared that statement that he made. And he shared uh, a statement to Twitter saying, I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN and I am stunned. He wrote, but CNN's CEO, whose name is Chris Litch, said that they wish him well at the network and would cheer him on as he pursued any future endeavors. endeavors. And he stated that um, this was written in an email. And it was also stated that Don Lemon was given the opportunity to speak to the higher ups and he instead released the uh, 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 statement on Twitter. Now Chris Litch said to my CNN colleagues, CNN and Don have parted ways. Don will forever be a part of the CNN family and we thank him for his contributions over the past 17 years. He also said CNN this morning has been on the air for nearly six months and we are committed to its success. So to me that kind of implies that they feel like that Don may be a threat to its success. Then in a statement that came from Don Lennon, he made, he said the following, after 17 years at CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have the decency to tell me directly. He said in a tweet, at no time was I ever given any indication that I would not be able to continue to do the work I have loved in this network. It is clear that there are some larger issues at play. With that said, I want to thank my colleagues and the many teams I have worked with for an incredible run. They are the most talented journalists in the business and I wish them all the best. Now, talk around town is that CNN is saying that the statement that Don Lemon made on Twitter is really not accurate. That the, what he said about his termination was not the truth. And it was reiterated by Don Lemon's statement about this morning's event is inaccurate, CNN said. He was offered an opportunity to meet with management 
but instead released a statement on Twitter. And as I said earlier, guys, that I had run across that somewhere, that he had released a statement on Twitter. But it's been such a crazy day with so many things going on that I've been trying to get to um, put on a video for you guys that some of the information was running together on me. So, but I got this, this is strange. And CNN acknowledges that Don Lemon has really been in the news business for two decades. But I'm going to touch on the offensive comments that it said that he made to Nikki Haley. The news of Lemon's termination comes on the heels of reports of alleged misogyny in a limp piece from Variety. Lemon made headlines for offensive statements made about former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley for which he apologized in February. In an online discussion with his co-host, Lemon said Haley isn't in her prime. Lemon discussed Haley's presidential campaign announcement on air and called for mandatory mental competency tests for pol politicians over age 65. Lemon 57 told co host Harlow and Collins that Haley, Haley's talk about age makes him uncomfortable and her comments were the, all on the wrong road to go down, adding that Haley is not in her prime. Haley is 51. And that was worth what the comment was because I actually kind of took offense to it too, guys. Cause I'm a little bit more than 51, and I don't—I haven't lost my faculties yet. I think that 51 is prime age. She says people and/or politicians are in their prime, and Nikki Haley is not in her prime. A woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s, maybe her 40s. He apologized the following week after a break from being on the air. He came back and said, I appreciate the opportunity to be back on CNN this morning today. He tweeted shortly before going back on the air to my network, my colleagues and our incredible audience. I'm sorry. I've heard you. I'm learning from you and I'm committed to doing better. See you soon. Apparently, this wasn't the first time that Lemon had been accused of making statements that was found offensive about women. In variety of report <clears throat> released this month of inappropriate behavior towards a female colleague at the network. The report says, alleges, that Don had disrespected former colleagues, including Nancy Grace and Soledad O'Brien, in a number of public settings, including on air and editorial meetings. Variety interviewed more than a dozen former and current co colleagues, many of whom were quoted anonymously. His history of controversial comments the USA Today article that I am quoting from said, stated that this wasn't the first time he had been accused of sexist comments. In December, Lemon got into a tiff with his co-host about compensation in soccer. He argued that the U.S. men's national team members should be compensated more than their female counterparts, according to the Daily Beast. In September, he drew criticism for act, asking political commentator S.E. Cup if she had mommy brains after she appeared to lose her train of thought while she was speaking on a panel. And in 2014, he suggested to actress Joan Tarshish, who alleged Bill Cosby assaulted her during an interview, how she might have avoided being touched by Bill Cosby. And see, guys, when you are a public figure, you are being watched every moment. Your thoughts even your wor your words and even your thoughts are being scrutinized at every moment and you have to be very careful what you say and when you spew rhetoric like this that people find offensive 
it usually catches up with you. Now, I'm not going to say that I have not been a fan of Don Lemon's for his entire career. I have been. And yes, I have felt that he stepped on people's toes at, at one time or another. And did I feel like this was coming? I knew that it was inevitable. But the timing is what has my curiosity peaked. Because he's out of CNN on the same day that Tucker Carlson is out of Fox News. Coincidence, guys? Or what do you think? Okay. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Letting me know your thoughts. And I will be happy to respond to you as soon as I get the opportunity. Guys, also, thank you so much for coming. And to my current subscribers, you guys know you got my heart. Keep your comments coming. And... I will be right here to receive them as soon as things slow down a bit because it's been really a wild and crazy day today, guys. Also, if you are new to the channel, don't hesitate. Go on and hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of good things here on this channel. And we're kind of new, but we're building it one step at a time. I'm actually reaching for my 2,000 subscribers, and I got far to go, guys. So go on and tap that subscribe button and help a sister out. Also, if you want to get notifications and stories, immediately tap on the notification bell. And please like the video. It allows it to move up in the rankings and makes it possible for people in other countries and places to be able to have access to it. And guys... Always, always leave me a comment in the comment section because I love hearing from you. I love your feedback. And thank you again for coming. Much love to you guys now. Smooches to you.